when we take a look at these geometries and if we grab a from viewer and if we draw trees we see the same things right because grasshopper like regardless of the sur surface selection order it just divides the surfaces with the numeric values that we supply since we are supplying the same values we are going to see the same results however when we come up to curve primitive and line create these two lines and you see everything is a bit like a uh, problematic here you know why because basically this surface wants to be arranged or connected with this one the other way and this one and so on and so forth of course there are ways to handle this in grasshopper itself however it's always a good idea to keep things ordered at the very beginning so i'll just select the surfaces and now what i'm seeing is i am having my like suspended ceilings in an order so if i increase this you see i will have these problems because there's no points to connect here therefore all these points are being connected to the last one but if i increase this i can match those and you may ask why we are not using the same things we can use the same things however i want to make sure that i'm showing you all this uh like carefulness or the attention that we need to pay when we are trying to deal with multiple data and i wanted to take you to another point here so if i let's say uh if i like let me get this problem we were back here and oops connect it over here and draw a tree copy this and paste it it will be seen the same thing however one of the main things that we use or you may heard grasshopper and it might be still a bit like blurry for you what this right click and flatten does when we say flatten to this as you see it takes everything and puts it into one single branch and we have only one single branch which has 70 points we still have 70 points but it's defined underneath like i don't know several branches therefore what this does it takes all these points as my starting point and tries to connect from this point from these points to almost every single point that it can see a relevance right and you see they are being connected in kind of a mess so unless you are doing or unless you're using platen in a very very uh conscious or aware way use it but otherwise do not use flatten at all and if i always do flatten this we'll see some things are working together but never never especially when you're trying to deal with multiple data do not please do not use flatten because it takes everything into one single branch whereas we have several branches or and different like different branches for instance for the first one we have six branches for the second we have four branches for the third one we have three branches but in this one we don't have any kind of particular explanation for this one all right so please 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 if you're dealing with multiple data do not use flatten unless you are doing something super super specific and this being said, this is the end of this video, so in the next one I'll be talking about graphing.